What's up, beautiful people? Elizabeth here. I hope you're doing well and that you're having a great day so far. Today, I just wanted to come on with a message about how are you showing up? How are you feeling? What energy are you bringing into this world right now? What energy? What are you giving? We need more people who are showing up, who are putting in the work, who are putting in the effort and the energy. Are you drained right now? Are you feeling stressed and overwhelmed and bogged down? I see this every day. I see this everywhere. All the responsibilities and the things that need to be done and the dramas and the stresses and the pressures and the financial issues and health issues and whatever. There's a lot of stuff going on. And I'm sorry, and it's hard, but you can figure it out. You can be healthier. There are tools and tips to eat healthier, to exercise, to get it in. Even if you are a mom or you're a parent or you have a bunch of things to do, there are strategies and things you can do to do it anyway, to do the things you need to do anyways, because that is the stuff that's going to help you feel your best. How many of you have people that make you feel good, that make you feel motivated and inspired and that make you want to do the work? How many of you have that? Doesn't that make you want to do the same? So be that person, no matter what's going on right now, however you're feeling, stressed, frustrated, happy, sad, whatever, figure out what you need to do to bring the energy, bring the joy, bring that light and the goodness into your life and into the world. It doesn't matter what job you're doing. It doesn't matter what you're doing right now. You need to bring that energy to it. The people in life need that. If we all brought this energy and we all chose to show up as our best, even when we might not be feeling our best, and we choose to show up and to take action daily on the things that will help us feel better and say, hey, I'm finally going to lose the weight. Hey, I'm finally going to get in control of my anger problems. I'm going to stop the alcohol addiction. I'm going to stop this. And I am going to stop whining and complaining and feeling like the victim and putting all the fingers, pointing all the fingers out to everybody else. I'm going to stop. And I'm going to say, hey, Elizabeth, you need to step up. And you need to figure out what you need to do to get better. You are in control and responsible for yourself. And I need to hear this sometimes because I can complain and whine just like everybody else. But I'm impacting other people. If you go to a job, if you have a family, if you interact with any human being, you are affecting them. You are just because that's how it works. They might have shields up. They might know how to deal with other people or if other people have certain energies or problems going on, hopefully they can deal with that and know it's not a reflection of them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'll talk about that on my channel. But you are impacting them. You're impacting yourself and your life and your potential and what you can do. How many of you feel like it's hard if you're having a stressful day or you feel sad or down? It's harder to get the stuff you need done. You aren't showing up as your best. You don't do the workout. You skip the workout or your workout isn't as good. Okay, that's going to happen. But how can you bring the energy anyways? How can you show up regardless? So I don't know who needs to hear this message. I'm just sharing things that sometimes I need to hear and that hopefully can help you. I share lots of tips. I'm going to be working on how to handle stress, how to deal with the responsibilities that you have as an adult. And if you're growing up in life, how do you deal with relationships? How do you have good relationships? How do you have a good relationship with yourself? How do you eat well? How do you take care of your finances? How do you take control, right? We can just sit here and let life throw all these things at us or we can say, no, I am in control. I'm in the driver's seat and I am going to make choices and I'm going to choose to change, right? I'm going to choose to change and to grow and to become the person that God knows I can be and made me to be. So if this is interesting to you, I hope this talk was helpful. Um, I'm hoping it can reach just one person that maybe you're feeling like this today or you needed to see this video. So I hope that was helpful for you. I'm going to be clicking on it if I'm ever in a funk and need to hear this message. Um, But feel free to follow if you want more recipe ideas, tips, and ideas on how to live a happier and healthier life and have become a better person. That's what I'm all about on this channel. That's what I'm all about in my own life. And so that's why I'm documenting it to share the things that I've learned or that I'm learning in hopes that it can help somebody else too. So thanks for being here. Feel free to like and follow. Let me know in the comments if there's any videos or things that I can do to support you. And feel free to join the community um, so that we can all support each other 
hopefully it's a kind and supportive space and that we can all kind of just help each other navigate life and to be the best that we can be. So thanks for being here. Feel free to like and subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you in the next video. You got this. Take control of your life. You can, even when it feels like you can't, even when it feels like it's hard. It's okay. Life is hard sometimes. Things are hard. It can feel hard and you can still do the thing and you can still show up in the world and make a difference. So thanks for being here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.